have new images coming in from the Philippines. Despite warnings not to, residents are returning to their homes, or rather, what's left of them. A landscape of gray now covers Batangas province near the Tal volcano. While we saw the devastation of lava with Kilauea, it's ashfall that's a major hazard there. Hundreds of thousands of people have been forced out of their homes, but as Kimberly Speakman reports tonight, help is on the way, some of it from Hawaii. Kimberly. Howard, Bridget, we have one of the biggest Filipino communities here in the islands, and many are reaching out to help family members as well as others who've been impacted. The eruption has left roads and houses covered in ash. With so much cleanup left, people are in need of supplies. A lot of evacuees are obviously looking for face masks and also for maybe clothing. Constancio Paranal is part of a group of people who do outreach for Asian countries in need. They've been trying to gather supplies to send to those impacted by the volcano. I was born and raised in the Philippines, and I came here to Hawaii with the thought in mind that I really want to be able to support the Filipino community here in Hawaii, but also at the same time um, be able to support the Filipino community back home. UMAC Hawaii, one of the main shipping companies to the Philippines, is also joining in the relief effort. It's planning to offer customers free shipping to the Batangas province, the area hardest hit. Uh, our little own small way trying to help out. Our help here would be the long-term effect, like they might be, you know, they, uh, they are affected, their livelihood. And so their relatives here or friends might want to send them support in terms of canned goods, clothing over the next few months. UMAC Hawaii is still working on its shipping schedule. We'll update you once that's set. And the Philippine consulate here tells me they're working with the Philippines government to find out what more can be done to help the volcano victims. Bridget.